Sausage. All right, Vinny, you ready to tango? All right, Vinny, so uh, we're down here over in Portland, Oregon. Uh, we came down for the feast. We're over here with good old Elias from Olympia Provisions. Me. And today we're gonna make a little sausage. Oh, get out of here with this. The USDA making fun of us. Oh, we got the USDA. We're not scared of the USDA. Not, so why would we be scared of the USDA? We're right on point here. <laughs> Just to start off, you want to tell us a little bit about what we're going to be doing? Yes, we'll be making an emulsified sausage. Okay. So we'll take lean meat and white protein. We're going to throw it in the bowl chopper, and it creates a myosin bind, just like mayonnaise. Myosin bind. And then you throw in fat, and that gets particleized, and then the lean meat suspends all these little fat particles. So when you cook it, protein's bind. So are you with me? Science with behind this. So when you eat it, it tastes smooth right, and nice and up. moist. It's not all shitty grainy like a lot of those sausages out there. It becomes one. It becomes one. So I guess go check this apparatus out, huh, Vinny? Do this. So yeah, this is the, what I was saying. This thing's gonna roll around. Those blades get spinning like crazy. We put the meat in, make our emulsification, put all the ingredients in, fold in the fat. All right, cool. So we got our ingredients. Yep. And then right over here, we got some spices. So yeah, this is the... Vinny, get in here, bud. This is stuff. Right there's uh, cultured dextrose. We got yourself some uh, celery salt there. We got garlic and then the, the seasonings, chili flake, cumin, coriander. We ground those earlier. Uh, this is rosemary extract that we put in water. Oh, I thought it was beer. <laughs> we'll get that later. <laughs> and then this is ice. Dump right. it in there. The whole thing? Yep. And put that next one in. Do you see how good I am at delegating? This is the time oh, I'd like to reflect on. That's not too much, huh? Well. This bad boy can handle it. We'll see, huh? <laughs> That's what we're all about, learning together. Wow. Man is right. Oh, look at that, huh? That's a beautiful thing. Look yeah. at that, man. We're going to turn that into paste. We're going to turn that into a emulsification. Boom. Science, Vinny. So this will give you a nice even mixture as well. Yeah. Man, this machine is cool. Oh, I got to say, Elias. You can do anything. Dump it in. Dump in. And then we're going to ice right in. Ice right in. Keep Roll it nice it. and cold. Turn it down. Make sure it's up. That's it, 150 seconds. Now, since we got about, we got a few seconds, I heard you mention, woo! Fat goes in. All right, hold on. You can already see the colors changing. Yeah, if you're looking for is your lean ones here, you're starting to see it stick together, start forming little legs in there between the proteins. Oh, right, right. Uh, <laughs> got it. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds complicated, but it's kind of literally. It's, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. So it's amazing when you eat a bad sausage. You see how easy it is that people f it up still. Yeah. F***ing mayonnaise. Meat mayonnaise. That's it. All day. <laughs> Let's see if I did that right. Stop. We can stop now. You can see it's nice and particleized. Yeah. Most sausage people do eat it. Really? Oh god. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> it's pork. I'm not gonna kill you. It tastes like a hot dog. <laughs> I think it's something like that. Get there. Oh god. It's so good. Texture, melty. And you're cold. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. You need a lot of that. I don't know if I should. <laughs> I mean I don't even know if you're gonna die now, so but I can't believe you did that! We're cheesing? Yeah. Alright, roger that. There it is. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, I just mixing. Now we gonna empty it. Alright, now we're gonna chop the cheese. Oh god. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> would you? Make sure that falls in the right spot. Oh yeah, baby, look at, look that. at that, huh? Huh? That makes me feel kind of good. Yeah, it does, relieving. <laughs> Man, you know who's gonna love this? My mom. Ever since I was little, she always had my dad make her cheese hot dog and they would just split the hot dog and put some like, A little know, onion on top? Kind of BS cheese in Let's there. Let's send it to her tonight. We're gonna get her some of this, man. Yeah. Head's gonna blow up. Get this cleaned real quick. Kind of reminds me of, remember Ghost? Yeah. Patrick Swayze. Oh yeah, you want me to get behind you? <laughs> Let me teach you the ways. Patrick, 
Everybody loves a little Swayze. Come on, Swayze? Was that Whoopi? Who was that? <laughs> I just remember Patrick. Yeah, Whoopi was in that. Patrick and Whoopi, right? Patrick and Whoopi. Oh, but wait, Patrick was the ghost. He was dead. Yeah. And Whoopi was in there by herself, right? Yeah. Oh, was, was it Whoopi? I no, was, it was another. Where the hell is Whoopi? Whoopi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she sees Patrick. No, wait. But I a, was Whoopi right there. He was Pat, right? Like he, I was Pat. You were a different girl. What? Yeah, buddy. Oh. We just got done chopping up all the meat, mixing all the ingredients. Can you tell us now what we're going to be doing with that? We're going to stuff it. And what this is, is a, it's a stuffer. Oh yeah, Vinny, you getting that? It dumps over here. You can watch it fall in there, Vinny. That's just rewarding. So what are you? What are these uh, casings? These you are got? hog casings, which is an intestine. Pluses. Yeah, exactly. This is a break right here. Set that. See where we're at. Oh wow! It just oh nice. man. When I do this back home sometimes with friends or with my dad, yeah. you got the hands and you don't have that nice portion control. No, it's I'm not. always ripping them. And yeah, if they get out of, out of whack and they're too long, you know, then you got to go back to how you used to do it all. You know. Right, the spin and the opposite the spin. spin, exactly. The crazy thing is, is it's not that hard, is it? It's beautiful work you're doing there. All right, I see what's going on. See that? And this goes right on here. Kind of give it two, a little one finger in between each one there, right. bone, so the smoke can get in there. Get right. in there. Yep. Uh oh, hold on. Cut. Cut, Vinny. All right, here we go. Fuck. Oh man, he made that look easy. All right, here we go. Feed it through? Nope. Close it. Just, there it is. Oh God. Look at that, no hands, right out of the bat. I tell you what, whoever set up that machine. Sweet job. This is, oh, oh God, stop. No. Do a little cut here, huh? Yes, sir. Go ahead and trim that up. In sausage making, that will happen. That will happen. Right? It's, it's inevitable. inevitable. All right, but Vinny, you ready for this? Fire in the hole, babe. Oh, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no, stop. Oh, we lost our case in here, Vinny. I'm going to try to troubleshoot it. Get in there. There we go. All right, ready, Vinny? Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Ho, ho, sausage slinging, baby. Look at that. <laughs> Certain like, things you just can't teach, huh? Look at that. Oh, yeah, like, like, <laughs> like screwing things up. We're not going <laughs> to stuff all this sausage because uh, tomorrow night for Feast Portland, good old Elias and I, we're going to be uh, stuffing sausage right on site, grilling them up, cooking them. So uh, if you're in the area, well, actually, you won't see this in time. So <laughs> never mind. Ho, oh, fire and hole. You see, I think goes shooting out me. <laughs> Who? I'm having a lot of blowouts. What is that? Lack of professionalism. Where yeah. should I start? Just kidding. <laughs> is there? Sometimes you get a shitty casing. Let me hook you up. Uh, okay, so just a little adjustments. Yeah, a little love. But you want to keep it nice. Okay. Keep it nice. But you're going to want to keep it nice. It's just like cooking, you know, you got to make a little adjustments. Sometimes. Yeah, you know? And you definitely want to make it nice. Let's see what we did there. Fire and Oh, we're slinging sausage now, there you're babe. back. Oh, God. We gotta, so you got to find that sweet spot. Shut up, Vin. Oh, here you go now, huh? Oh. <laughs> so we stuffed them. They're all set, ready to go. Now, it's obviously still raw. Yep. So what you like to do is smoke them. Yep. And uh, you got Vinny over there. Got those chambers. You got a nice little blend of, of wood chips in yep. here. We got a two thirds apple, one third hickory. The apple wood, right? Sweetness. And then the hickory is uh, gives it better color and also Ooh. burns good. But what's so great about these is this is truly just a hot plate. Nice smoke. Then in the back, it's got a little fan runs up Sucks it, it into and then the develops chamber. it. Yep. And once it's in the chamber, it gets you know distributed over the product. All right, cool. So let's go take a peek in this chamber. Let's get a knife so, so we can eat something out of it. Do you have a knife on you? I do actually. Look at that thing. Such a classy gentleman always. They're just finishing up right now. God, that smells so goddamn good. Yeah, look at that, huh? Isn't that beautiful? That skin totally got a nice little, that smoke kind of covered beautiful it, kissed color. it up nice. Uh, let's give it a little cut first. Oh, yeah. Check it out, Vinny. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice and juicy. You got oh, that little, little cheese spot. pocket. Ooh, buddy. Uh-huh. 
Now, when you get these right out of the package, you're gonna and have then, to heat them. Now, what's your preferred method? Just grill them up. If you're a patient person, you can put them off to the side of indirect, you know, indirect heat. And just let them plump let them up. kind of slowly plump up and get crisp. But most people don't do that, so they put them directly on a grill. They burst open the outside burns. The best way for anybody at home, I always say, bring them to a simmer in hot water or beer. Yeah. And then just crisp them up on a grill. So obviously we don't see pigs running around here. Thank goodness, it'd be weird. Like when you source your pork, yep. you're looking for a nice quality pork. You probably have good relationships with your farmers. Absolutely, and we're only getting better at it. As we keep growing, we keep giving, you know, we keep being able to purchase more pork and then set better standards that are also helping the farmers out. We all grow together in Oregon, making the best quality pork and also giving back to the land so the land That's is important, man. Away. And I gotta say, you know, uh, tip of the sausage to you because uh, I'll take it. it reflects in the product. It really does. Yeah. I mean, if, it, if it, you can't polish a turd, right? Speaking to the sausage. Can't, can't polish a turd there, bud. Oh, well, we try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just wrapped up over at the uh, the sausage making uh, production facility. They got a little restaurant right down the street, Olympia Provision Southeast. Cute little restaurant. If you're ever in town, swing by. We got them to cook up some of the stuff that we made. Let me take a bite of this, huh, Vinny? Mm. Great snap, great bread. You put yourself a little a little pickled onion on there or something, a little mustard, man. You'd be living the dream. Got that nice little cheese pocket in there that emulsification, that's how it's got a, that real nice kind of like bouncy, all like uniform texture throughout it. Nice amount of smoke on there, real good crispy, uh, snappy skin. And all they did was reheat these. Get yourself a little cold beer, something like a Pilsner or something, real crisp, refreshing. And uh, you're doing all right, man. Bon appetit, Vinny. Mm. You gotta get in on this, bud. Cheers. Uh, yeah, what, what would you sell your table? Uh, uh, yeah, what, what would you sell your table? Uh...